today we're going to be working on the, this Lego City set. It is number 60377, and the set is called Explore Diving Boat. It has three manuals when you open it, and then you'll also see three bags to go with the three manuals. You'll see bag number three, bag number two, and bag number one. I personally just like to go in order, so we are going to start working on bag number one. You will also find this boat piece. Okay, so now we got our bag number one pieces all organized. So you can see here, we have this cool little manta ray, stingray, I think, I think this is a stingray. Really cool, has spots, and I've never actually seen that type of piece before, so I'm really excited to work with it. Start on the person. So I'm just going to get all our person pieces and put it together. I got my person built. Nice, and the cool thing about this is you could switch from the helmet to the hair and back to the helmet. So now that we got our person taken care of, we're gonna put that aside. These flippers also go with the person. We could choose to put them on or off. I just like them off. So we're just gonna push that to the side right now. Now we're gonna just work on the camera. We are going to take one of these, one of your two little gray pieces, put it on the camera, and a clear piece on top. Also goes with the person. And now we're gonna start our little tiny underseas, kind of like exploration droid. So we're gonna take one of our two um, blue pieces and we're going to take one of our two white bricks with a hole in the middle. And we're just going to put that on the very left side of it. You could also do it this side, but you have to move this. This way, it doesn't really matter which way the bottom brick is facing as long as the top one is facing on the left side. Now we're going to take our other brick with the hole in it and put it right next to that. They're side by side. You almost not really see the hole, but you can see the two bricks. And now we're going to take this gray piece with the little, little handle thing on the side of it I'm just going to put it on like that. As you can see, part of it is sticking off right here. We want that so we can put the other gray piece right next to it. And now we can take this orange piece with the hole and we can put that in the last open spot. And now we're going to take our other blue piece and put it on top. And now we're going to take our two kind of tan pieces and put them in these two holes. We're going to put the kind of hook side in, not the swirly side. It should um, sound like a little click, just like that. They should also spin. Now we're going to take our black swirly piece and we're going to put it right on, oops, I did it on the wrong side. Right on the left side of the um, exploration droid. Make sure that these two gray pieces are near the front while this is near the back and the orange piece is at the very front while this is at the very back. Cause I got that confused. Now we're going to take our other two blue pieces, but you can, as you can see, these have a handle on them. We're just going to put that nearest to our swirly black piece. Just gonna put those on. Oops. There we go. They also stick out a bit. Now we're going to take our two white pieces with a little bump on the end and. These both have a hole going through them. And we are going to put those right next to our blue pieces. Just like that. And now, 
now we are going to put our little um, orange piece with a kind of like a world going around it. It has a dip down oh, and it is smooth on the top. And we're going to just put that piece one plate away from our orange piece, just like that. On top of our white pieces and right next to our blue. And now we're going to take this little um, circle piece with the bump on the top and we're going to put that right on top of the blue pieces. Just like that. And now we're going to take this clear turquoise dome piece with um, also a bump on the top and we're going to put that on the other side. Make it spin. Now we're going to take these two orange pieces and we're going to put two clear pieces on top just like that i'm going to connect those to the white pieces on our drawer machine here just like that and now we're going to take these two hook pieces and um, two of the three little gray handle pieces. We're just gonna put the handles on the hole on the opposite side of the hooks. Just like that. And while the hooks face sideways, the um, little gray hook should also face sideways. Good turn. And we're just gonna put those the gray hook will connect to the gray piece with the bump sticking out of it on the side. Now it has little hands. Put our spare pieces aside and there we go. The first part of our underwater exploration set. We are working on bag number two and that bag will also include the extra boat piece and let's organize all the pieces. Now that we got everything organized, we can start. The first thing, the first thing that we'll need is to build a person. So I'm just going to grab all the person pieces. There we go, our person. You could choose to take on, leave on, or take off the life jacket. But we're just gonna put our person aside for right now. And we're going to start on our shark. Our shark is just a two piece. We just snap it together. Ah, scary. And we're just gonna put that uh, right next to our person. Okay, now we're going to take our extra boat piece and we're just going to start building the boat. We're going to need this bridge piece which we are going to put in almost the very back of the boat. Now we're going to need these two kind of like airplane fin pieces and we're just going to put those right here with the um, top of it facing the front of the boat and the bottom of it facing the back of the boat. Sort of little white gate piece. And we're just going to put that, oops, that right here closing off this space. And we're just going to put it Make sure it is along the side of it and not in front. Now we're going to take this gray box and put it right in front of our gate piece here. This little tiny um, tan piece and we're going to put it right at the back of our box. And we're also going to take this white and black steering wheel and 
put it right here, right before this little square. So we're gonna, oops, fell off. Put it right before that square and the smooth piece. And now we're gonna take one of our three orange blocks and put it right on top of that little square. There we go. And now we're going to take two of these, oops, two of these little thin, I, I think they're like fins, I, I don't know, like pieces, and we're just going to put them here, making sure that the top of it faces the back of the boat, and the bottom of it faces the front of the boat on both sides. Now we're going to take these two long three piece tan pieces and we're going to put them here right beside that on the front of the boat. Right beside the white pieces. We're going to take these two dark blue, the same color as the boat, three pieces and we're just going to put them right on top of the tan pieces. Make sure they're all the way clipped in. Add this um, tan square right on top of the orange one. And we're going to also take this dark blue, same color as the boat piece, and we're going to put that on top of our tan piece. Two of our kind of like little slanted pieces and we're going to put them between the um, this blue piece and this blue brick. Put them on both sides from high in the back and low in the front. We can take these two kind of clear turquoise um, bricks and we're gonna put them right behind, oops, right behind our blue bricks on both sides. Make sure not to put them on this open spot. We're saving that for something else. Oops, I did it wrong. This one, they're supposed to be both on the inside. So we have a space left on the outside. Okay. We're going to add the dashboard. So we're going to take one of these gray pieces and put it almost at the front of the boat and we're going to take this kind of dashboardy grayish piece and we're going to put it right in front with the picture facing the um steering wheel we're going to put this two of these um gray half bucket i think half bucket ish pieces and we're going to put those right here in the back of the boat on each side. Make sure they're on the inside, on the back of the boat, and the open part is facing out. And now we're going to take our two white pieces. In the Friends Lego sets, you'll see these a lot. These are used as seats. Today, we're going to use them as something else. And they should be facing the outside of the boat on the outside. Just like that. And now, we're going to take these two white hooky pieces and we're going to put them on either side of this um, piece on the very, very back of the boat. And we're going to take this one gray piece with a little, little um, thing sticking out of it. And we're going to put that right in the middle of the two white pieces, just like that. We're going to take one of our two um, orange pieces, and we're going to put that right on top of all of them. And we're going to take the other of our orange two pieces, and we're going to put them on the giant fin pieces, I think. Sort of looking like a boat. Not yet, though. 
I'm gonna take these two long pieces and we're just going to put them here. This blue piece right in the middle to take the, one of these two black pieces and we're going to put them at the back of the blue piece. And we're going to take this gray piece, we're going to put it at the front of the blue piece. To take these three orange pieces with little bumps on the top, and we're just gonna put that on top of our other orange pieces. And we put one at the front of the bow. We are going to take these three gray um, knob things. They should all have a hole in them, as you can see through them. And we're gonna put one at the um, front of the boat and two on the little knobs of the orange pieces near the back of the boat. Take our signal top thing and we're going to put that in the middle of our gray and black pieces leaving two spaces on the side and now we're going to take our two white smooth space pieces and we're going to put those in the empty space take one of our red, um, sort of clear, um, uh, smooth little disc pieces, one of our green sort of clear, smooth little disc pieces, and one of our clear, sort of clear, actually very clear, disc piece. And we're going to put the clear one on top, the red one on the left, and the green one on the right. Our two gray pieces with little hooks and we're going to put them side by side in the back of the boat on the very right, making sure the hooks are on the inside. Take this smooth white piece with a sort of little star on the front with actually a medical sign. We're going to put those on the bump on the back of the gray piece and we're going to put this little shot in the um, gray hooks. We could put this aside for right now and we are going to take our two orange squares and our two blue sort of squares with hooks on them. Not hooks, grabby things on them. We're going to put those onto our orange squares. It doesn't matter where we put them on our orange squares because you could always move it. But right now we want them facing forward. We're going to put our two blue sort of wave-like pieces on top. And now we're going to take our two white pieces with holes in the middle. And we're going to put those right underneath our orange piece. Make sure the hole is facing the opposite side of our little grabby thing here. And now we're going to take these two gray pieces, not gray, sorry, these two beige pieces, and we're just gonna put the little key-like side into the hole, so the swirly side stays out on both. We are going to put these two black swirly pieces on the tan swirly piece. And you should be able to spin that. And we're just going to now attach them to the white hooks on the back of the boat. These are the propellers that are gonna push the boat through the water. We're going to work on the hook that's going to lower, remember from the first bag, our little submarine here. So, we are going to take this black um, four skinny piece 
and these two black sort of grabby pieces and we're going to put them right next to each other on the edge. So now as you can see, part of it is sticking off. We want that to happen. And we're going to take our blue and black striped piece and put it on top. We're going to take our white little hook grabby piece and we're gonna put that on the left side of our black piece. And now we're going to get our silver chain and we're going to put that on the edge of our white piece. That's going to be what lowers it. And then take our blue tiny wave piece and we're going to put the um, skinny side on the bump of the chain and the big side on this gray piece with a little hook on the other side. We're going to attach that to our boat. We are going to put that right on top of our little gray um, pointy thing at the end, like that, so you can adjust it and move it how you would like. Now, in this um, turquoise, uh, clearish um, piece, and we're going to put our big, orange globe piece on top yeah, I think it goes that way and we're going to hook that up to our two little hooky parts pop that in so it should close this way I'm going to take three of our four black little I call them magnified pieces but um, three of our black little um, circle pieces with sticks out of them and we're going to put our three clear pieces circle pieces on top i'm going to put them in all of our tiny little gray pieces with a hole in them we're going to put these aside with our other completed bags and we're also going to put the extra pieces aside now that we got all the pieces organized, we can start building. And we are going to be working on the coral reef. The first thing we're going to do is build the person. I'm gonna choose helmet again this time. And we're just gonna put our person aside here. And, and as you can see, there's these cute little turtles that were included in this bag. We can put those aside. First, we're going to take this sort of brown, sort of tan, like in the middle piece, and we are going to put a tan square at the edge of it. And we're going to get two of our blue slanted pieces and we're going to put those right in front of our tan piece oops come back here two of our little green leafy flower pieces and we're going to put those at the edge of our blue slanted pieces remember the slanted the end of the slanted pieces are where the green pieces are where the top of it is equal with the tan piece and now we're going to get one of our gold little crown coins here and we're going to put that right in front of one of our blue pieces i don't think it matters which piece it's on but i'm going to put it to the right and now we're going to get one of our brownish piece Burn a square piece with the little bump on it. Besides that, it's smooth. I'm going to put that right in front of our coin. To get our big bridge, which is going to be the foundation for our coral reef. We're just going to put that right next to our other tan piece. Now we're going to take one of our pink sort of triangle pieces, and we're going to put that on top of our blue pieces and our tan pieces. 
is going to get this other, oops, this other um, tannish brown circle. I'm going to get our tan square, and once again, we're going to put it at the edge, and our other two blue pieces right in front of it. Just like that, and now we can connect these two. There we go. Take two of our little green flower pieces and put those at the edge of our blue pieces. Good. Now we could take this sparkly pink sort of clear dome with a little bump on top. I'm going to put one of our two stars on top of that and that will go right in front of our blue pieces. Now, we're going to take our other pink, sort of circular triangle, um, and we're going to put that on top, just like the other side, with a little bit, oops, I did it wrong. There we go, with a little bit sticking up, Never should be the opposite for the pink pieces so the um, corner should be facing the edge of the tan pieces and now we're going to take our other two sort of brownish squares with a bump on top and we're going to put those at the ends of our pink pieces nearest to the bridge part these and we're going to put those right on top of the squares and now we're going to take our very light pink piece sort of round pink piece and we're going to put that in the middle of our bridge we're going to take one of our dark brown little bump piece and we're going to put that on around the end of our pink piece Going to take one of our sorry our green kelp piece and we're going to put that on our little green flower piece at the very left side of the coral reef and now we're going to take this sort of swirly piece and we're going to put that on the little flower on the very right side of our coral reef take one of our Sorry, the only one of our little orange piece with the bump on top. And we're going to connect the brown piece and the pink piece with that. And we're also going to take a little pink piece and put it one space away from the orange piece. And now we're going to take our sort of sea grassy piece and we're going to put that right on top of our pink piece. Now we're going to take our big yellow crab we're going to put that on top of our orange piece. We're going to take our pink coral piece and we're going to put that here but not yet. Put one of these gray hooks on it so it could hold our little blue fishy. And now we're going to put it on. Oops. We are going to take our sort of bluish coral piece and we're going to put our other little gray hook on that one. And we're going to put our green little fishy on that one. That one's going to be swimming this way. We're going to put that on the other side of our coral my favorite parts we're going to build a treasure chest so we're going to connect these two treasure chest pieces the lid and the inside so it should close and it should snap and we're just going to put all of our coins in there you could just drop them in and our gold cup put that in there too and we're going to only close it a little bit or you could leave it open 
We're going to put that on the left side of our coral reef. I like it all this. Take this sort of darker gray little hooky piece. I'm going to put it here on one of the wheels of our pirate steering wheel. I'm going to put that right here on the little um, dark brown piece right underneath the crown. Good. Just it up or down. I'm going to do it sort of down. And now we could just put the turtles here swimming through the coral reef. And there you go. With all the pieces, oops, we could just push these extra pieces to the side. A full coral reef and boat. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.